Hey guys, Kelly and I are out in the woods today and uh, chopping up some wood, getting ready for our vacation pretty soon. Just want to go over some things about survival and self-reliance, self-sufficiency, things like that, and how hard it is to actually chop wood with using an axe when you don't have a splitter. So Kelly and I, we went out back and... Uh, we had some downed wood out there. As you can see, it's a pretty pretty good sized tree. About anywhere from six, seven inches across. This one's a little bit more. But I just wanna talk about uh, chopping wood and how much energy it takes to chop wood as opposed to using a splitter. So just stay tuned. Hey guys, Kaz here. Kelly's holding the camera. Hi. So I want to talk about chopping wood and how much energy you use. Literally chopping wood with an axe. If Kelly can pan down, you can already see I've, I've chopped some. It's been, um, hasn't been the easiest, but when you don't have a wood splitter, this is the only other option that you really have and for those of you who haven't chopped wood or you think that you're a prepper you're getting prepared and you have it in your mind that you have a bug out location and that you're going to burn wood to keep yourself warm doing it this way pretty tough not always easy I got one piece with one chop. It wasn't too bad. I don't want that to hit me. I hit you. Basically what you want to do is you want to line up the axe to the wood. And then you want to take a, like a half step back because your inertia is going to make the axe come out further than what it actually, your measurement is, okay? So I'm going to measure right here. See what I mean? So you want to give yourself about anywhere from three to five inches from that inertia when that axe comes over. And if Kelly can come over, you can see I hit that log pretty much almost dead center from where I wanted to hit. And by backing up that three to five inches makes a big difference. Now I'm not going to take that out. I'm going to see if I can split it. That's in there real good. A good solid base is also important. I got a good base. As you can see, it's not all that solid. I'm going to take this out. Another useful tool is a tree wedge where you could put that in there and then hammer this through and divide that out. I don't have one of those, but that's also something good to use. Turn this just a little bit. Again, I'm going to measure up. See that? That three to five inch distance with your inertia comes over, it's going to draw the axe out just a little bit more. Again, I hit it exactly where I wanted it to be. I'm going to be here for a while, baby. How long have I been chopping wood for already? About an hour or so? Maybe maybe a half hour? About that. About a half hour? Again, three to five inches. Perfect, every time. All right, guys. I'm going to finish. I'm going to take a break in a minute here, but just want to do, do this video on chopping wood because if this is how you're going to heat your home and you don't have a splitter of some type and chopping is going to be the way you're going to do it you're going to exert a lot of energy a lot of water it's going to take some time 
Hey guys, so this is what it looks like when I'm all done chopping. And I hauled it to where I'm going to keep it here. But I just want to show you and reiterate the fact that uh, if you're going to heat your home and be self-sufficient or self-reliant and you're going to use wood as your source, it's going to take a lot of wood. I mean, I exerted a lot of energy chopping this up and I think I did a really good job at chopping it up as you can tell. You can see I uh, got it down to pretty good pieces, but um, just want to say that, you know, I used a lot of energy doing this. I used a lot of sweat equity to to build this up and, and get this done. And this is just for a camping trip. I mean, if, if, if you want to just think about the whole fact and the whole idea of trying to heat your home through the winter, I mean, you might need one cord of wood. You might even need two cords of wood, depending on where you live. But I just want to re reiterate the fact that, you know, it's going to take a lot if you don't have a... A splitter and you're just using sweat equity to to put this together it's it's gonna take a lot but uh, Kelly and I are excited we're looking forward to our honeymoon we're going rustic camping so it's gonna be awesome hopefully we'll get some good fitted footage but anyway you guys take care and have a good day